Welcome to Inside Science TV. Thunder, lightning, heavy rain. It's usual summertime weather. It's weather that atmospheric scientists are now looking at in a study called the Deep Convective Clouds and Chemistry Experiment to learn what happens to the air when big storms roll through. So I looked at uh, how pollutants down near the surface move, were moved around by the thunderstorms. When thunderstorms form, they draw in pollution and other chemicals, taking most of it many miles into the upper atmosphere. Scientists believe these pollutants are forming upper atmosphere ozone, a greenhouse gas that plays a role in climate change by trapping the sun's energy. Ozone is ultimately what we want to learn, you know, how its concentration is being controlled by the thunderstorms. Using research aircraft, radar, and lightning detection equipment, scientists fly through air entering the storm down low and exiting the storm up high to collect information. They then fly through the same air mass the next day using its unique chemical signature that it left behind to see how the air has changed. Well, some of the chemicals are, are mostly getting transported through uh, the thunderstorms rather than getting rained out. Data from the project could be used to forecast future air pollution levels or what Earth's climate could look like 30 or 50 years from now. Using thunderstorms today to understand climate tomorrow. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.